He is the victim of constitutional rights that have been violated, and the state doesn't get to go back and do it again. The question now is whether there was a previous ruling on the fruits of the poisonous tree, and, Your Honor, there just wasn't. You don't get another bite of the apple based on this particular evidence. The court action in a conspiracy case. Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, faces a massive RICO conspiracy and gang indictment, along with many others. His lawyer says he's innocent. In a hearing, the issue seemed to involve evidence from an earlier case involving Jeffrey Williams. His legal team say in a motion, all evidence seized from his home on or about July 15, 2015, was suppressed. Williams is alleged to be one of three founders of YSL, an alleged criminal street gang. Mr. Williams is not the head of any criminal street gang. Walter Murphy's lawyer, Jacoby Hudson, says Murphy acknowledges Murphy was one of three co-founders of YSL, but late Tuesday afternoon he found himself in front of Judge Earl Glanville for a plea deal. And my client is home where he deserved to be. This exclusive video from months ago, Hudson confirms that Tuesday, Murphy pled guilty to a RICO conspiracy count and has been released from the Fulton County Jail already. He says the sentence is 10 years, serve one, commuted to time served, the rest to be served on probation. A document indicates numerous conditions of probation include agree to perform 300 hours of community service, perform at least 200 hours, a substantial portion of which will require that you speak to young men and women about the hazards and immorality of gangs and gang violence and the decay it causes in our communities. A copy of the plea agreement supplied by Hudson says Murphy agrees to testify truthfully to all matters about which I am questioned. Hudson says it's important to note Murphy will not testify about the conduct of any other individual defendants. The state has to ask them about, asked about, about specific individuals. Hudson says Murphy also will acknowledge that YSL evolved into a gang. The plea deal appears to show Murphy acknowledged members and associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of YSL, including murder and attempted murder, and that gang life destroys the lives of young people. Months ago, he told us, I just want the younger kids to know no matter what you did, whatever you think you're a part of, you're bigger than that, and you can overcome it. Hudson says Judge Glanville, in approving the plea deal, Hudson worked out with Fulton County District Attorney Fonte Willis and key prosecutors in her office, commended Murphy for doing the right thing and changing his life. Hudson says at the time of the YSL indictment, Murphy had left YSL after serving close to six years on charges including a gang charge and four counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and had a job steadily since his release from prison. Hudson indicated Murphy had not had contact with other YSL members after his release. Judge Glanville commended him for the changes he's made and I also want to thank Fonnie Willis because she took that into consideration. The lawyer says the interview Murphy did with Channel 2 before his surrender in June was pivotal to the process ending with his plea deal. You're facing a tough challenge now. How are you going to get through that? The same way I got through everything else with God and my faith.